Hey friends, welcome back. It is time for another drop sale. So this is the September 11th drop sale you're watching. This sale will be valid through Monday the 13th at noon Eastern Standard Time. And so the drop sale, how it works is basically I'm going to show you an item and I'll describe it. I'll um, tell you the price and then I'll show you a number. And the first person to type that number in the comment section under the video wins the item. I do sort comments by oldest first to ensure that the person who commented first gets the item. So in that way, it's kind of like a live sale. It's, uh, you know, the first one to get the number in gets the item. If you've bought from me before, I do not need your contact information. If you have never bought from me, I need you to please send your real name, your YouTube name, your PayPal, email address and your shipping address to sidestreetmarketsales at gmail.com. I ask that you please do that within 24 hours of the sale because I do start invoicing by Sunday morning and that just helps me out. And if you want to go ahead and do that at the beginning of this, if you're not sure you're going to get anything, that's fine. I'll just put you on my spreadsheet and you'll be good to go for next time. So this month I have this 11th drop sale and I have one on the 18th. I'm going to have 25 items for you guys. And, oh, shipping is from Florida and it is additional. I do ship international. I use simple export on pirate ship. So it does, it can take one to three weeks, but it's a little cheaper than first class international and priority international. Um, yeah. So I've got a little mix for you guys here. A little seasonal, a little cutesy, some small, some ephemera, some jewelry. Lots of goodies, and uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna hop in. So thank you for coming, welcome. If you've come to my drop sales before, thanks for hanging out again, I love doing these. They're a lot of fun. Um, it's just easier for me to kind of drop the sale, and then you guys have all weekend to shop. So without further ado, let's get to the good stuff. And we're gonna start out with a bang. Let's start out with some jewelry. So right off the bat, I'm gonna start out with a set of three dog brooches. You get all three for this price. And the first one is a little gold dachshund, like a little circus dog with a hat on. Oop. He is two inches tall by three quarter inches across and he does have the C class. So he is the first guy in the set. The second one you're going to get is this little rhinestone Scotty dog. He's got his little Christmas collar on. He's got some red rhinestones there around here and here and there. And he does just have that C clasp on the back. I'm just double checking. Yep. Um, oh, it looks like there is one. Can you see right there, guys? I'm sorry. It looks like there is one little rhinestone missing right there on the tip. Otherwise, all the rest are there. You can see there's just one right there. So there's that guy. And then there's this little guy who's got some green eyes. He's got his ear up. He's scoping out something. Oh, and let me, uh, the Scotty dog is two inches tall by three inches across. And this little one is an inch tall by three quarter inches. And this is the last little guy. He's just sitting with his ear up. So for the set of three dog brooches, it's going to be $8 number five. $8 number five for the dog brooches. And I've got allergies going on again, guys. So just bear with me if I'm a little not myself. I just got the allergies going on. So next, let's see. Let's grab a cutesy. So this is, is that something on the back of it? Okay, I think that's paper on the back of it. Yeah, I can get that off. So this I thought would be cute and a little fall of vignette. He's just a little single bear shaker that's lost his friend. Look at that little face. He has a little boop on his tail right there. And then that's just a little where to go. There's a little piece of paper stuck to him. But I thought he was really cute. Just a little curious guy. He is Japan. He does not have his stopper. But in a little fall vignette surrounded by acorns and leaves, I thought he was just too cute. He needs a, a new home. 
He's three and a quarter inches tall. So for the little bear shaker, he's four dollars number nineteen. Four dollars number nineteen for the bear shaker. Oop. Okay. And we'll keep going with a few smalls here. With the holiday season coming up, I know we all love deer, and this is a little redware Japan deer. He is black with the painted blue eyes and the red on the ears. There is some paint loss due to age. You can see his redware on the bottom, and he is marked Japan. So there's the back of him. He has no chips and cracks. He's just got a little paint loss. He's got his pretty blue eyes. He is about three and a quarter inches across by one and a half inches deep. Really cute for the fall season. This guy is going to be $8, number 17. $8, number 17 for the deer. And then, how about some cupies, guys? So you will get all three of these for the one price. So here are the first two. They all have the little blue wings. So there's three of them. Okay. So here, and they're all bisque. They have no chips or repairs. There is no marking on the bottom of him, but this is the first guy. They might have a little bit of rub wear. You know how that bisque gets with age. So this is the first little cutie in the group. Doop. And he is three and a quarter inches long by about one and a half inches tall. So you get him. Then you get this one, which is just like, oh, I'm so over it. I'm so over it, but I'm so cute. Again, not marked. He is three inches long by two and a half inches tall. So that's one pushing up, one laying down. And this little guy has just discovered his toes. Look at that, I have toes. And he's playing with his toes. Does not have any repairs. I'm just double checking, so I'm not lying. Nope, no repairs. Three and a quarter inches tall. So all three of those guys are going to be $18 number two. $18 number two for all the QP babies. And now for those of you who love glass, I'm just double checking. Of course, there we go. Now this guy does not glow, I have checked. So this is, I think, slag glass. It's just a little urn, but it's got that great amber and cream coloring for the fall, for your fall vignettes. There's some crazing on the inside that I can see the dust has gotten into over time. I don't know if you guys can see, there's some black lines on the interior there. But I just really love that amber color. I thought this was really pretty for fall. It is only three and a quarter inches tall by two and a half inch diameter. And like I said, there is some you can feel the little cuts on the inside, like the crazing got dirt in it, but the outside has no breakage. I'm just double checking that. Yeah, there's no breaks on the outside or damage. It's just the seams and the lines, and they collected some dust over the years. So this piece is going to be $9 and number 12. $9, number 12. Okay, how about a little owl art? So this is a little home piece. Someone made this. There is no year on it. You can see the back is just a piece of wood, but it's a 3D owl. Can you see that paper sticking out? So it's a three-dimensional. The owl is built with foamy in between and two layers and they lacquered a background. Cute little Again, I was thinking of fall vignettes for you guys and little pieces you could add. This guy sits 
five and a half inches tall by three and a half inches across. I just like the little face. I just thought that was pretty cool. So five and a half by three and a quarter. You can see the layers there they use to build it. The owl art is going to be $6, number 18. $6, number 18 for the owl art. Okie dokie. Let's get this big guy out of the way. Elephants. So I have seen, I've never, okay, I know some people find these and they're the chicken baskets, but I never see the chicken baskets. And then I found this elephant one. Now there is some loss to the wrapping here, but that is the only place it has damage. And now this guy, please keep in mind, will probably be bigger to ship. So if you're on um, the West Coast or international, it is um, about probably 13 inch by nine tall by five deep, 13 by nine. So just keep that in mind. I will try to use a box and a bag to help with shipping costs if you're on the West Coast or international but and it does have a little wear on the one ear here and it's looking very reddish on my screen but it's actually a darker brown it's looking very red on the screen but I thought this would even be a unique piece for the fall with some of the acorns and the um, uh, changed leaf colors this elephant basket is going to be ten dollars number three $10 number three for the elephant basket. Just something different I've not seen before. And then I picked up this for those who love vanity pieces. It is made in Italy and it's got like two deer facing each other. So it's some sort of a cold cream jar, but it's a beautiful white, almost milk glass. And it's just a fun container that I thought would be neat for a vanity display or in the bathroom. You can maybe keep cotton balls in it. It just snaps on. There's a little scuffing on the green lid and it's got the applied flowers and it's from Italy. And this is a glass and this is a plastic. So this is almost like a milk glass. And there's, I don't know if you guys can see the deer and it says made in Italy. There you go. Come on, light. You can do it. There we go. See the two deer facing each other? So this cream jar is going to be, and it is empty and has been cleaned. It's going to be $8, number seven. $8, number seven for the vanity jar. <clears throat> and then for my swan folks, I have a fall planter for you. It's this beautiful chocolate brown and it's got that great green pistachio drip we all love. It is unmarked. It looks to be redware on the bottom. <clears throat> I forgot my water. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies. But I just loved that green drip glaze. I thought beautiful. It's the season for the browns and the greens. It does have a little bit of weight. This guy is seven inches across by five inches tall. This beautiful uh, drip swan is going to be $9, number 21. $9, number 21 for the drip glaze swan. And keeping in the swan theme, if that is too big to send to you, I don't want you to be left out. We got to have swans for everyone. So how about this cute little guy? He's petite has all of its flowers with no damage, and I thought it had some good fall colors on it, the pinks and the yellow and the brown and the green. Let me pull it back here a little bit so the light will show better. You could put your little makeup brushes in there, some Q-tips, a little succulent for the bathroom. It is decorated only on one side. It does not have a maker's mark. There are no chips or cracks or damage, so this is the pretty side. It is a smaller one, so this guy is only three and a quarter inches by three and a quarter, so a little easier to ship if you're farther away. This one is going to be $5, number 14. $5, number 14 for the fall swan. How about some more brooches? 
Okay, so this is a lovely red and gold set that I put together. This first piece is Monet. So this is a Monet piece. And you guys can see the red stones, faceted stones on there, and then it's got the amber rhinestones. Now, when I put the black light on it, they just go kind of muted toned. They don't light up or anything, but they do go, you can see it kind of just mutes, but they do not have any black light to them. So this is the first one you will get in the set. Pull it back a bit. And it does have that C-clasp on the back. So it's a beautiful red rhinestone piece with the faceted stones and then the little amber in between. There we go. It is two inches in diameter. And then I thought this piece is nice with it and it's a Sarah Coventry. So it's got that red again in the gold. So I thought they'd make a nice little set. It's got that faceted stone. It is one and a half inches in diameter. So you've got the large red faceted and then all little tiny red faceted stones and layers around it. There you go. You can see there's layers here. There we go. So for both of these, it is $12 number four. $12 number four for the pair of red and gold toned brooches. I have another vanity piece. Now, I don't know what this would have been used for, but it is this really pretty cut glass brass topped canister. I guess you could stick cotton balls in it. This sits very loosely, so it is not a tight seal. So there is the brass top. And if you can see on the sides, it's got a floral motif as well. So there are roses right there. I don't know if that helps. There you go. You guys can see them a little better. So that is cut glass. It is etched, cut into the side. There is the rose in the center and the lines and dots on the top. It is, and the, the bottom is a very smooth glass too. It is four and a half inches in diameter by four inches tall. There's some of the roses. So for this jar, it is $9, number nine. $9, number nine for this jar. Okay. Well, fall is coming, and so is the month of November. And I have this little November girl. She says 1204 on the bottom. So I don't have a maker for her. She just says November Angel, and she is holding a football and a flag. So if you love football and you love spaghetti, and the little angels, then this girl is for you. There is no damage to the wings, no damage to the crown. Her face is good. Her spaghetti is good. Maybe a little dust in the crevice I did not get. But there she is. She is... Let's try this the right way, shall we? Four and a half inches tall by two and a half inches across. Perfect for the fall coming. She is $14, number 22. $14, number 22. So I don't know if she's a Lefton girl. I don't think she's a Joseph. She might be a Napco. I am not sure. $14, number 22. I just thought she was different with the football. Okay. Ephemera. So I know some of y'all love Christmas ephemera. So the cover is about to fall off of this, but this is a Christmas album and it is all Christmas sheet music. So the cover is about to like rip off of this. It's barely holding on, so I'm trying to be very delicate. So here is a picture on the interior. And I'm not seeing 1945 by Belwin Inc. New York and all of the Music pieces have the art above them. 
So there is a Silent Night. There is some, someone was, did have this as a lesson book. So there are some markings. There are markings. Um, but again, all the pages have graphics. And the lid just fell off. Sorry, guys. The cover, the cover is, it's like this. So I'm just going to set that back on very carefully as best I can. So for this music, which is still the cover is even great for a, a Christmas backdrop. This album. Uh-oh. <laughs> I just want to make sure I lost my cookbook. Aha. Okay. Sorry, guys. Technical, technical difficulties. This guy is going to be $9 and number eight. Nine dollars, number eight for the music book. And then my other piece of ephemera for the day is this holiday cookbook. I just thought that that had some really great vintage Christmas graphics. The back has really cool graphics. Favorite Eastern Star recipes. 2,000 favorite recipes for members of the Eastern Star. So you have New Year's Day and it's spiral bound, which is great for displaying you have New Year's appetizers, New Year's main dishes. Um, it's a lot of recipes, not a ton of photos. Easter pies, Easter salads, St. Patrick's Day salads. So tons of recipes, not a ton of photos. And the interior photos, the few they have are in black and white. So basically when you start a new section is when you get a photo. So this is Valentine's Day. They have St. Patrick's Day, Labor Day, which just passed for us. So you have some Labor Day dishes. This nice thick book, which if this is all you get, I think I can ship it media mail. Um, this book is going to be $8, number one. $8, number one for the holiday cookbook. Something for all seasons. Now I have a dog ashtray. For those of you who collect the little ashtrays, this is a little Japan. Oh, I'm sorry, let me make sure. Yep, made in Japan. A ceramic dog ashtray. It's in really good condition. He looks like a little bit of Russell, like a Jack Russell, a little bit of terrier. He's got his green collar. The paint is actually still good on this. And you can see on the bottom. Nope, you can't. Let's find it. It's right here. Made in Japan. It's in, it's embedded, made in Japan. And this guy is five inches across by four and a quarter inches tall. The dog ashtray is going to be $9, number 13. $9, number 13. And then I have a super cute baby doll. For those of you who collect the crocheted dolls, I have this cutie pie for you. She has some pretty fall colors and she has her bottle that does go in her mouth. It is kind of attached in the back. So, and she has like a little crown. So it would probably rest like this. And she's got her little crocheted feet that kind of hang. So these are her little feet and her little outfit. I saw it was really a pretty piece, 11 and a half inches long by four across and the face was just so cute. So those are the little tied booties at the bottom. Here is the back. She is going to be $10 number 16, $10 number 16. And then I have something for those of you who, it's a little Holly Hobby-esque to me. It's Ladybug C. This is a home piece. So this is something that someone um, applied all the coloring to it. They applied all the pieces. See, it's a home ceramic piece. And it's C. Henry, but it doesn't give me a year. And it's just this little cute girl gardening. I know this is a little bit more of a spring piece, but I thought if someone had a lot of red or yellow in their kitchen, that this would be a nice addition. She's cute. 
It's got a nice clear coat on it. You can feel the texture a little, but it's not going to peel up or anything. It is eight and a half inches in diameter. So this little cutie is $4, number 15. $4, number 15 for the home piece. Cute if you like to collect plates or you have like a little garden section. Cute, cute, cute. I like the face on her. And then I have another little, for those of you who like the littles, this is a souvenir 1970s style 80s Atlanta owl. He is a single shaker. He has no friends. He just has the stopper on the bottom. I suspect Japan by the weight, but he is not marked Japan. But this is typical of all those yellow owl ones you could pick up across the country when you travel to different places. He is three and a half inches tall by two inches in diameter. And this little guy can be yours for $4, number 20. $4, number 20. And I'm sorry if I'm going a little quick, guys, but I know because I have, um, is that just dirt on the side? He does have a little crazing on the side right there. Just a little bit crazing. But because I have 25 items, and I know you all got stuff to do on Saturday morning. I'm just trying to move it along for you. Okay, so now I have some tins. So let me get to those real quick. First off, I have this beautiful floral and gold tin. There's gold accenting along all the flowers. It's designed by, it's, da, it's a de, de hair, Long Island, New York container made in England. It does have a little patina on the inside, but it is clean. Four and a quarter inches tall, four inches wide. I just loved, can you see all that gold? Look at that gold, guys. That gold was just what sold me on this one. So this one is going to be $6, number 10. $6, number 10 for the De Hair tin. And I know I'm probably saying it wrong, so I apologize. <laughs> and then, again, I'm repeating myself, but fall's coming. I have this coffee tin, and I thought the brown was a great color to use for staging, and you could put your pieces on top to make your vignettes. So this is a Mr. Coffee, Bedford Heights, Ohio. It's not super old because it does have a barcode, but it says Mr. Coffee Collector Tin Limited Edition. And there's the top for you. And we'll take a little trip around the sides. Just got the great vintage coffee house look. Fresh brewed, five cents a cup. And this was my favorite part. I like the lady on this one. It says, for a fuller, richer taste, Mr. Coffee. So this tin, which is six inches in diameter by three and a half inches tall, is $8, number 23. $8, number 23 for the Mr. Coffee tin. And then I have this, which I thought was fun. It is a four seasons decoration. So how am I gonna do this to you guys? Okay. So we are heading into autumn. And when you're done with autumn, you go into winter. And then you go into spring. And then you go into summer. So it's great for staging all year long. And it has all, like in the spring, it's got like the little strawberry packets and flower seeds. In the winter, you've got turnips and poinsettias. You have apples and oranges in autumn. And then you have sunflowers and watermelon seeds in the summer. And it's just a wood block. For all the seasons, this guy is $6, number 11. $6, number 11 for the seasonal block. Okay, guys, we have three items left. So don't forget, if you've purchased from me and you have never bought from me before, be sure to send me your contact information within 24 hours. And if you've bought from me before, I've got you covered. My email will have been coming across the screen throughout the video. 
and it'll be in the description below. And also, if you're not sure if you got something, you can check back because now I do have to run some errands on Saturday when this is live, but by Saturday evening, you can come back and check the video and in the description section under the video, make sure you hit that little arrow so you can see everything. I do mark when things are sold and I, got, I put who got them. So you guys will be able to see that. Okay, so next I have some rusty crusty goodness. It is this fun red, white, and green with yellow canister tin. I thought it could be fun for like a country Christmas. I love the red, white, and green. It's got some dents, it's got some scratches. It is that lovely vintage we love. The inside's got rusting on the bottom. Crusty, rusty goodness. It is seven and a quarter inches tall by five inches diameter. This canister is going to be $12, number 24. $12 number 24 for the floral canister. And then we have this guy, which I picked up at one of the antique malls, and I thought he was just so cute. I decided not to keep him for my collection, though. This is the only marking he has on the bottom, and it looks like a C and a Q. I did not get to look this up, so I do not know who makes him. It looks like a C and a Q. He has no condition issues, just super adorable. Take me home. He is five inches tall by five inches deep. This pig planter is going to be $12, number 25. $12, number 25 for the adorable pig planter. Wilbur. Wilbur. Okay. And we're going to finish off with some bling because... You should end the sale with a bit of pizzazz, a little bit of pizzazz. So this is, again, is a two brooch set. These do not glow. Is this bent? No, this is not bent, okay. And it is a gold and rhinestone set. So here are all your sparkles, my friends. This one is all the silver and clear rhinestones. And the back is like a formed poured and it has the C-clasp. So you have all these clear white rhinestones on this guy. And it just looks, there we go. Look at that shine. And it is three inches across by one and a quarter. And it looks almost like a shooting star with the way the flowers here and the branches come off of it. And then this one, they looked almost pink on here, but it's pearls and like a little bit of the aurora. There's a little patina to the gold leaves, a little frosting. Again, this has an older C-clasp. So this is your other piece. It is two, and it's got that older clasp on it. And this guy is going to be $9 number six. $9 number six for this set. And that is it guys. I think my battery's dying. So that is the September 11th drop sale. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit that thumbs up and stay tuned because I will be back with you next weekend for a little bit more of a fall themed, but just another fun September 18th drop sale at 10 a.m. And then that's it for September. I'll be back in October. So see you soon guys. Thanks so much.